senior, all the fathers here, sisters who are here with us as well. Uh, the Major Archbishop asked for some good news, so all I can say to you, especially here in Chicago, is that the Cubs are in first place. <laughs> but, they haven't won the World Series yet, so we have to wait. So we have to wait. So this is a beautiful lesson of patience that's been spoken. And I want to just say a few words, just a thanks, especially to all of you for the welcome that I received today and the openness of which I've spoken to some of you, not all of you. Wonderful meeting that I had with the priests, with the bishops that are present too. And also just that the same thing has been reflected in all of my visits to uh, Kerala. The wonderful reception and thanks that is due to the Major Archbishop for all that he's done to facilitate my visits and the frequent visits I've had with Archbishop Bulakat and the welcome that I received the community in the Archdiocese of Kotem as well. And so many other people have been so engaging and also so cooperative in speaking to me for long periods of time, and a lot of people that I've spoken to that reflect everything that the Major Archbishop has said, as Eminent said, about how many people are concerned about the reality of the Kananaya community in India and throughout the world as well. And for me, it's been a great privilege, not just to represent the Holy See in this, but to be able to meet the vibrancy and the life of the people that are present here today, but also some of the very people who are involved just in the, in the parishes throughout the places that I've visited. And your presence here today involves enormous sacrifices because of the distances you traveled, and it's reflected also in the leadership that you play as a role in each of the communities that you're serving. And that takes place as well, as well as the travels that have taken place with His Eminence and uh, Archbishop and those who have traveled distances as well. I ask you to just keep in prayer. I had to skip some things in the diocese as well today because at the very last second I didn't just drop out of the heavens, but Joy Bacchichita phoned and said, you really wouldn't be a good idea if you came and saw some of the people. And I'd early said, no, I don't think I'll come because that's not going to play much of a role to play just in the festivities here. But then, as he explained, there's an opportunity to meet with the priests especially and to meet with many of you and just to get to know you and break the ice so that when we meet, hopefully in the future, already a great deal of good work has been done so that we get to know each other's face and voices and all things like that. I hope you can understand my Canadian accent, but yeah. I don't know <laughs> You're used to American accents, Chicago, whatever. But, yeah. So thank you for all your warm welcome and assure our prayers, the prayers of many people, I know of your own prayers, and how fundamental those prayers are, the sacrifice that's being made by a lot of people. So say a special prayer for all of our French catechists in my own diocese, the Diocese of Pembroke. I'm supposed to be with them today, and you know how important the catechesis is, and for the French catechists in my eyes, it's a special challenge because they have no Catholic schools anymore at all. They have to do all the work themselves in religious formation and religious education and sacramental care. So it's something when I'm not with them, they miss it. It is something very important that we gather, just like you're doing today, and as Archbishop Bulakat has explained. The words that they've spoken, His Eminence, uh, Archbishop Bulakat, Bishop Angadia, beautiful reflections that are given for all of us that have really spoken to the very core of some beautiful realities that are part of our lives and also awakened within us the need to reflect and pray about challenges that are there. And as His Eminence said, not just in this community, but in my own communities in the Church of Pembroke and in your own lives as family members, in our own lives spiritually, individually, as we struggle and go through with all the joys and challenges that are part of our own Catholic and Christian life. And so be assured of my own prayers as we go forward. Say a prayer for me and especially for all those who are working for the welfare, not just of yourselves, but of so many people in the church. And continue the wonderful sacrifice that has been evident so far. And again, I thank you for the warm welcome that I've received in these days. Thank you and God bless.